kids, it is so great to see you this Sunday morning, and I am so glad that you decided to join me for church this morning. Everybody give me a high five. Awesome. Good to see you. And you know how we like to greet each other here at Park Kids on Sunday morning? We like to say good morning, Park Kids, in our loudest shout, right? What? What was that? Oh, did I say something wrong? You're right. I said something wrong. We don't shout good morning at Park Kids. We actually say good morning in our loudest, what kind of voice? Whisper voice. That's right. So on the count of three, we're going to say good morning Park Kids in our loudest whisper voice. Okay? On three. One, two, three. Good morning Awesome job, boys and girls. Well, if you have been watching with me on Sunday mornings, you know that we have been talking about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Everyone say, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Good job. And the fruit of the Holy Spirit are qualities or things that happen in our attitude and how we treat other people when we have the Holy Spirit in our lives. And who can remember how many fruits there are? So we've already talked about seven of them. So you know there's more than seven. Who can remember how many? If you can remember, I want you to hold your fingers up. Show me the number of fingers. Okay, if you held up nine fingers, then you are correct. There are nine fruits of the Holy Spirit, and today we are talking about fruit number eight, gentleness. Everybody say gentleness. Good job. The Holy Spirit produces gentleness in our lives, and we are going to learn in our Bible story about a woman who was doing something wrong. Everybody say doing something wrong. Okay, that's called sin. Everybody say sin. Good. So this woman was doing a sin, and the people caught her doing that naughty thing. And back in those days in the Bible, when you did something, when you did this bad thing, people were allowed to throw rocks at you. Can you imagine someone throwing a rock at you because you did something bad? Yeah, well, these people wanted to do that to her. But Jesus showed her gentleness by not throwing rocks at her and by talking to the people about it. So I want you to pay close attention to how you saw Jesus show gentleness to this woman who was doing something wrong. And then we're going to come back together and talk a little bit about how we, as boys and girls, as Christians, as people who love God, how we can show gentleness to those around us, okay? So, but before we listen to our Bible story, we are going to sing our praise and worship song. So I want everybody to stand up on your feet. Awesome job, and we're going to go over our emotions really quick. Remember, when it says, yeah, yeah, we say, yeah, yeah. When it says, hey, 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 we pump our fist, hey, hey, hey. Good job. And then remember our move from last week. We put our hand in an O shape like this, stick our finger up so it looks like a D, and then we put the skin of the fruit over the top, and every time our song says fruit, we do this motion. So yeah, yeah, hey, 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 and fruit. Okay, so I want to hear you singing in your loudest praise voice to God. He loves it when we sing and dance for him. And we'll be back in just a few minutes after the Bible story to talk about gentleness some more. Okay, see you in a couple minutes.
For the past few weeks, we've been studying the fruits of the Spirit. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5.22 through 23. Today, we're talking about gentleness. And of course, the best example of gentleness is Jesus. One day, Jesus was sitting in the temple courtyard teaching a group of people. Some Pharisees and other leaders marched in with a woman who had been caught sinning. The leaders did not care about the woman. They were testing Jesus to see if he would follow the law. The law said that you are allowed to throw stones at the woman to punish her. What do you say? They asked Jesus. But Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. They kept asking him questions, so he stood up and he said to them, Has any one of you not sinned? Then you be the first to throw the stone at her. He bent down again and wrote on the ground. Those who had heard what he had said began to go away. They left one at a time, the older ones first. Soon, only Jesus was left. The woman was still standing there. Jesus stood up and asked her, Woman, where are they? Hasn't anyone found you guilty? No one, sir, she said. Then I don't find you guilty either, Jesus said. Go now and leave your life of sin. It says in Proverbs 15:1, A gentle answer turns anger away, but mean words stir up anger. All right, welcome back, boys and girls. Awesome job singing worship to God this morning with our Fruit of the Spirit song. I hope you are using that song to help you memorize the Fruits of the Spirit because that's part of our Bible verse is to memorize all nine Fruits of the Holy Spirit. So I hope that song is helpful to you and good job listening to the Bible story today where Jesus showed gentleness to the woman who was caught doing a bad thing. She was caught in sin and everybody was ready to just be mean to her, pick up rocks and throw them at her. And Jesus showed her gentleness by actually convincing everybody that, hey, we all do stuff that's wrong, right? I do stuff that's wrong. You do things that are wrong. In fact, I want you to stop right now and if you've ever done a wrong thing, I want you to raise your hand. I mean, I'm raising my hand because I've done some wrong things in my life. Okay, I want you to think of what that wrong thing might be while you raise your hand. Okay, maybe it is that you've talked really mean to your mom or dad. Maybe you hit your brother or sister. Maybe you told a lie when you were scared that you were going to get in trouble for something and so you didn't tell the truth, right? So those are sometimes the bad things that we do. And what does God do? Does he throw rocks at us and say, you're bad? No, he doesn't do that. He loves us and shows us gentleness and because he shows us gentleness, remember he told that lady, don't go keep doing that bad thing. I want you to, to change your behavior. I want, to change, I want you to change how you're acting. I'm, I'm showing you gentleness. I'm being soft to you. I'm not being mean to you. I'm not yelling at you. I'm not hitting you with rocks. But I want you to go and change how how you behave. And that's how God wants us to treat each other. When we do something wrong toward someone else or toward God, he wants us to, to be gentle toward that person and not get mad back at them, not yell at them, right? But he wants us to be kind, be gentle, and to forgive them. So I know you thought of that wrong thing that you've done. Can you think of a way that you can show gentleness to someone this week. I want you to think about it. Maybe it's going to be your mom or your dad that you're going to be gentle to. Maybe you're going to be gentle toward your younger brother or your younger sister, right? When you want to yell at them, you're going to stop 
and not yell, but talk nice and talk calm. Okay, when you've thought of the person that you want to show gentleness to, I want you to give me a thumbs up. Okay? Awesome. Well, boys and girls, we are going to practice our memory verse before we end our lesson today. And so I want you to get ready for that. Everybody, I want you to put your hands together like this. And crisscross your fingers, and I know we normally do this when we pray, but we're going to do it for our memory verse, too, to just try to help us focus, okay? And put your hands in your lap, and then you're going to repeat after me. For the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. The Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Good job. Okay, now we're going to say all nine of them. Are you guys ready? Okay. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Awesome job. Okay, now we're going to say them a little bit faster. Okay? Love, joy, Peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Awesome job, boys and girls. Now we're going to say it one more time all the way together. So you say it with me. For the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And that is found in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. Everybody give me a 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Awesome job. Okay, well, I love you. It was so great to see you. I'm going to pray for you before I go. And then you guys are going to have a great week. And you are going to show gentleness to people, even when they deserve to have rocks thrown at them for doing something bad. We're not going to do that. We're going to be kind and soft with our words. So I can't wait to hear about how you've been gentle with your friends and family this coming week. So everybody close your eyes, fold your hands, because we're focusing on God. Lord, we just thank you so much for every boy and every girl at Park Church. I ask, Lord, that you would bless them this week as they choose to be gentle with their words and with their actions towards others. Lord, we thank you that you gave us your Holy Spirit so that we could have love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness. Lord, you, you've given us so many good things and we're so grateful for that. Be with every boy and every girl as they enter into summer break. Uh, I pray that they would just have a fantastic week full of fun and that we look forward to being together again soon. And everybody said in Jesus' name, Amen! Awesome job, boys and girls. It was so great to be with you. Keep working on your memory verse. Keep working on memorizing those nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. And we will see you next Sunday for our very last lesson on the fruit of the Spirit. Okay? I love you very much. Have a great week. <music>